Uh, welcome everyone to the first of two new member Q&A sessions via Zoom for the month of November 2024. I'm Betsy Ko. Joining with me as co-host tonight is Murray Maloney. And we're, we're so pleased to have several very, very new members joining us tonight. I want to emphasize that no question is too basic. I was the one who had the idea for these sessions. And I got when I mentioned it in a member of the week interview two years ago, Steve Whitten was, was really encouraging about it. And, and it, the idea came about because I remember what it was like to be new to Wikitree mm -hmm. and the the very steep learning curve, um, along with an extraordinarily helpful and supportive community. So that's what um, we hope to be for you here. Um, I am I've been on Wikitree about five years. Uh, my ancestry is is Taiwanese on my father's side, and then English, British, and uh, Canadian and um, Canadian. Yeah. Canadian on my mother's side. So um, those are the projects that I've been involved with. And uh, Murray, I'll let you talk a little bit about yourself too. Well, hi, everybody. Uh, I am a retired uh, write, technical writer, author, and editor. And, um, and I joined Wikitree about four years ago. And about two years ago, I happened to be in a, um, in a session that was on uh, Discord. Discord is a, a channel that we use sometimes to, to, to communicate. Anyway, there was this session going on and we were, there's a bunch of Wikitree people in there that, that, you know, I really didn't know them, but they were sort of senior people. They've been around for a long time. And I was asking some questions. And the next day, Betsy sent me an email and said, Hey, you want to come and be on my, on my Q and A thing? Because you, you have lots of good questions. So that that's the thing. I mean, it, 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 in, wow. in those two years, in those two years before I even started to ask my questions, Somebody saying something? No. Uh, in those two years, I was really struggling, like like everybody, you know, s struggles when you first come onto WikiTree because it's very different from what we're used to out there. Ancestry has its way, and then and then you know the others have have their ways, and you got to manage your tree, and you got to keep it in three different places, and what a, you know what a hassle it all is. And then you come to WikiTree, and then you realize, oh my God there are editors on this thing it's like having your teacher correcting your work you know your professor giving you a red line back right so you go in and you try and make a profile and somebody's telling you hey wait a second what do you think you're doing there you can't put that date in there because you know you don't have the paperwork behind it so you got to learn all these things and you got to figure out what to do and then along the way you learn the tricks right now betsy publishes a list of tricks just yeah. little things that she's picked up along the way that just can help you out right help you well how do i do this and how do i do that right and just instead of doing it the long and the hard way like writing those darn citations right <laughs> those cit citations they take so long to cut and paste all the different parts of it that you want to have there and make sure it says everything you need it to say and and, and nobody's going to come along and say hey you did it wrong Right, so it takes time to figure that out, and then you find out that there are tools that just mm -hmm. help you do that. Right, they just like know, oh, gee, I know how to write a citation. Uh, I'm smart. I'm going to figure that out for you, and and you can just plop it in there. So, um, I think part of what we're going to do in the next little bit is to 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 sort of wander you through a lot of those aspects of WikiTree, and and point you to where you can find more guidance, and also. So we're going to show you some stuff and, and, and show you how to do things. Okay. All right. right. Let's go. Betsy. Okay. All right. Um, and by the way, so since Murray mentioned uh, my, my tip, useful tips uh, page, I put the link for that in the chat. Um, and this is just what was useful to me as I went along when I decided to share it publicly, I did go in and sort of tidy up the organization a little bit. Um, but I would encourage all of you to do the same thing for you. Use mine, but also make your own as you learn little tricks and think, wow, that was, that worked great. Will I remember it in 10 weeks? You know, like start making a free space page. That's a great use for for a free space page. 
So um, now we so before we started recording, we did uh, sort of a little informal chat around the room to see uh, what pe what questions people had. So we're going to try and get to uh, to everybody who had a, at least one question from everybody, and and hopefully more. Um, so um, Beverly um, wanted to. Um, ask she said um beverly remind us you joined about three months ago well maybe two maybe two okay all right the two sessions i think yeah yeah um but uh you have an extensive tree that you built over decades that you're bringing over to wiki tree and uh, she's now getting into the pre-1700 um area of your tree now have you done the pre-1700 certification I did do that. Yes. Okay. All right. And, and so I, we should explain that um, there's a line in the sand on wiki tree at 1700. So anything after 1700 is considered modern uh, and has less stringent sourcing requirements. Um, you do still have to provide a source. Um, for for a profile after 1700, um, but it is it becomes a lot more strict uh, with pre 1700 profiles. So in fact, you can if you were to go right now, you know, say you sign up for WikiTree today and you go straight to a, a 1650 profile, you will not be able to work on that profile. You have to go through a little um, questionnaire, self guided. Uh, thing and read up on the pre-1700 requirements um, before you can get that certification and then you'll get a badge and then you'll be able to work on pre-1700 um, profiles. So that's great that you've done that, Beverly. Um, so you mentioned that and merges and inline citations. Where should we start? Well, uh, with the pre-17, it's uh, getting permission to do things. I got in trouble <laughs> or I got corrected on one thing. And where do you put that on G2G if you have an issue or a problem or where, how do they find you? How, how, what is the tracking method that they know that you're doing something by your tag? <laughs> is that what... <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> and, or they have rangers. Did I see that word rangers or something? Yeah. So yeah. Can, can you explain yeah. that, that, how they find what I'm doing? And it's fine. I like to be corrected, but I was just curious for that. Yeah, yeah. We do have a, one of our functional projects is called the rangers. And their their goal is is just to keep keep the trees safe and healthy. Um, and to, to look out, um, of course, for any any vandals or spammers, but then also understanding that newer members might sometimes make unintentional mistakes. And um, so some, sometimes um, things may, may be noticed by the rangers. Sometimes, though, it could just be somebody who just wanders across mm. the profile that you've just been on and you know, there's a way to look at the changes that have been done to a profile. So if I look at a standard profile, Murray, do you, do you mind doing the driving the screen sharing? Um, can you just pull up a, a random profile? And so this is a really helpful thing to see, especially if you're looking at a profile that is somebody else's um, and you can see what's been done on the profile. Um, Denise, I see your hand and I'm making a note. We'll just show yeah. this and then answer. Well, while you're showing that, just a reminder, there's also suggestions that are generated by the system, uh, the computer programs that have been developed within Wikitree. So it generates suggestions and some of the things you do with pre-1700 or even those post-1700 may generate a suggestion, which prompts people to go look at it. Okay. Which is right there in mm -hmm. suggestions number two. Now, please tell me what page you're seeing. Uh, we're seeing Agnes Alger, and it is a pre seventeen hundred profile. Okay, so so here's a perfect example, Beverly. This just happened today. Okay, so mm -hmm. so I got a notification that somebody had made some 
some changes on Agnes's uh, profile. And the reason I got that notification is not because I'm a profile manager, because I'm not. It's because I'm a descendant of Agnes. Okay. okay. So did you know that there's a place that you can go to see the changes that have been made to the profiles in your history? I have run into that, but I don't know how I ran into it. Okay, well, we'll, we'll do that in a moment. I'll, I'll come back. Re Betsy, remind me to come back to that part. So you see sure. that there's a couple sure. of suggestions on this profile. And one of them says there's a unique name in the last name at birth. D do you see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And then there's a find a grave uh, missing birth location. Okay. So mm -hmm. now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to point out to you that I'm just going to make it bigger here. You can see that it has a category added, incorrect last name at birth. And then here it says LNAB is disputed. Now that was just added. So I came down here and I wrote a comment. Okay. And I said, well, please explain this because I'm aware that there might be a misspelling, but it might not be a misspelling. You know, we'll never know. So we're not going to say that there's a dispute. I mean, it's just the way it is. Right. And uh, otherwise, I'm not aware of any dispute. Could, you know, explain this to me. So I'm not going to I'm not going to jump in there and delete what she wrote. I'm just going to say, hey, wait a second. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've done that. Now, I comment. So yeah. Sure. And then, so if if after, if she doesn't respond, then I can come back to this maybe in a week or a month or whatever and try again, right? Maybe send her a personal note and say, hey, you know, you made this change. I don't agree with it. Have you got anything to support this? And if not, I'll remove it it's like that. So now as... As you get more and more experienced on Wikitree, people become familiar with you and they become familiar with the kinds of comments you've made in the past. And they say, oh, well, Beverly always makes really great comments and she always has fact, she always has documents to back herself up. I have a lot of faith in, in Beverly. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to her opinion. And, and then you've got other people who are, for example, um, project leaders. Right. And, you, and so you might say, well, I'm going to have some faith in them because they've been around for a while. I'm going to take their advice. See, so it's, it's it really is a community. We have to work together and we have to try and figure out how to you know, how to make it work. But this is a very timely uh, uh, answer to your question. Now, uh, what was I going to show? The changes. Oh, yeah. So there's a I, I keep it under under my my menu because um, I use the Wikitree browser extension. You may have noticed mm -hmm. that my pro this profile looks a little different, right? Yes. With, yeah. So th and I that's because I use. I downloaded the mm -hmm. browser. I think at your advice, but I have not tried to use oh. it yet. Okay. Well, th that's why it looks different because I use that. So, so I've got this menu here that I've I've just copied things in that I use a lot, and we're going to go to the family activity feed, and it's going to take a moment because because we're running Zoom and running the browser, so my computer's old, you know? So, so you can see here that today, on people on my watch list, some changes were made. So, so Bob Yonkers put a comment on how the women went from Dover. Now that's, a, that's a, a space page that I wrote, and it's about three, um, Sorry, what's the name for them? The Quaker, three Quaker women who were driven out of the town of Dover. It's a terrible story, but it, it's history and, and it involves some of my ancestors. So, so I wrote that page and Bob put a comment on it. Um, you can see other, other changes that have been made, you see? So every day I can go in here and I can see people on my watch list. I always check watch list connections and ancestors so these are people on, on, my, on my connections so that um, means they're murray, within murray could i just ask could i just ask you to define those things real quickly you 
those three things that you just said, what is a watch list? What is a this and what is a that? Okay, so a watch list is um, um, any profile that you're the profile manager of is on your watch list. Any profile that you're on the trusted list for is on your watch list. Can you so show this where under, so to get to that, um, Karen, you would go under my wiki tree. Can you just show that Murray without, you don't have to go there, but just show it in the. Uh, you know, I can't because this silly thing is in my way. Um, just a second. Well, that's okay. You go, oh, go. You go under my wiki tree and then there's a watch list. A pull, a pull down menu. Yeah. 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 And so if I've, if I've added something and if I've asked to be on the trusted list for something, then those are essentially the watch list is essentially a list of people that I have some interest in really. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. There's a watch. Um, I'm, I'm being clumsy. I'm being clumsy here because zoom puts a menu up at the top of my thing when I'm, when I'm showing stuff off. And so I can't see part of my screen. So this is my watch list. Okay. So these are all, these are people either either I'm the profile manager or I'm on the watch uh, on the trusted list. Okay. And there's yeah, I just didn't I just didn't understand the nomenclature what it meant. Yeah. Right. I understand. And so what, I've, I've what got, were connections? What were your connections? So connect connections are seven degrees away or up sorry up to seven degrees away. There we go. <laughs> and that, uh, that's another, what is a degree away? Is I I don't know what that right. means. So your father. Your your parents and your children are one degree away from you. Your siblings and your uncles and aunts are two degrees away from you. My siblings are yes, two degrees. Yeah, because in order to connect to your sibling, you have to go through your parents. And same with your 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 uncles and aunts. Betsy, did you want to say? Yeah, yeah. And I, I was just going to make the point, um, Karen, that um a connection can go through marriage as well. And so maybe Murray can show an example of a connection and any connection you look at. Well, if we looked at um, his eighth grand great grandmother, all the paths would be one color because it's it's a direct blood connection. Yeah. However, um, in many cases, the connection is through marriage. And so then you'll see a change in the color to represent that. But does the degree okay. stay the same? The degrees we count the same. Yeah. Okay. Let me just show you here. So here's here's Ann Buckley. And here we go. And come on. Come on, Ann. There we go. Ann is six degrees away from me. And that means she is a first cousin three times removed. Oh, so it took, takes six steps to get to. To Ann, and I can demonstrate that to you. Just a second, if I can just get to the menu. Um, what am I looking for? Oh yeah, connections. Um, no, nope. under connection to me. It's working. It's thinking. And it says, "Okay, there you go." See, so now that what what B Betsy was saying, this is all green because there's no marriages involved. Okay. <clears throat> But now let me show you something something different. So here we're gonna go to her and go to her children and we'll go to Margaret. Okay. And I'm gonna say, um, and now I can ask, what's my connection to what color is it when you've got green and then is the other color yellow? Yellow, yes, correct. And um all these little um is there a legend for all the little symbols that show up somewhere? Well, <laughs> yes, not really. Not <laughs> you kind, of, you kind of picked a, it that's up. That's a good before. idea. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, you know, uh, just, just an anecdote about that. So, you know, so I, I write some of the documentation for some of the tools, um, in particular, the web browser extension and, and a couple of uh, Greg Clark's uh, tree things. I, I write documentation. And, and sometimes, of course, I have to put copy a symbol from the app and have it show in the, in the help, you know, so you can recognize it. 
And the first time that happened, I asked the programmer, I said, well, you know, where's this, where do you keep the symbol? Like I figured there had to be a, a library right, with all right. the symbols and I could just, I could just reference it, right? No, <laughs> I had to, I had to copy it. Anyway, so, um, so here, sorry, here we are on Margaret. And now if I can just get this in the right place, there we go. And I can ask the connection to me and no, it's still all green, sorry. I meant for that to be. No, no worries, it's not, it's not, I, now, I mean, now I understand it's. Yeah. I get it. Just so if you okay. see, see that people are, are usually. See, look at all those symbols next to Thomas Element's name. Okay, there. so those, those are the scissors. No, so that, 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 on the last screen, there were like oh, five. This? No, no, on the screen, you, you moved from it, but that's okay, Never mind. All right. I think it was the pop-up, the pop-up for the, the small square pop-up, Murray. Oh. For... This? Yes. Yeah, see, look at the end. There's that circle, and then you see there's like six uh, different little things there. So, so the circle, circle is telling you that the privacy level is open. Okay. So I the guess next just... one. Oh, yeah. just hold over it. Okay. Yeah, hover yep. over it and it will tell you. So that, that's to go to the ancestor tree. This is to go to the descendants, I think. No, that's the family group, sorry. There's a descendants. They okay. changed the order of these. This is to go ahead and edit the, the profile of the person that you are you got the preview of. Okay. This is uh, their autosomal test DNA results. And this is their uh, other, oh, their DNA test connections. Okay, so you don't so really yeah, need a legend you just need to hover over them for the most part okay we've, we've got the, the, there's some pretty good programmers working here yeah yeah yes, for sure. um i was just going to say while you're here um yeah. can you click on the uh well i maybe you can highlight the um the tabs that go across you know that we're on okay. the profile tab there's the edit tab yeah. images now, if you go to the changes tab, if you would click on that, then this is how you can see all the, basically the history of what has been done on yeah. this profile. So this, this one has a pretty brief history. Yeah, it sure does. And then not a lot of work has yeah. been done. I'm running into a lot of orphan profiles. So I'm, they're my ancestors. So I'm taking, I'm being the manager. Yeah, yeah, you can adopt, yes. Yeah. Okay, so then, uh, so then privacy is this is where you can find out who is the manager and um, and who's on the trusted list, and you can make a request to be on the trusted list. So it shows you all the different levels. T. Gerard is the manager here. Whoops, and um, you can request to join the trusted list, and this will send the message to the manager, and 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 they'll get back to you, or they won't. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that. That's the uh, privacy. Okay. Under images, in this case, there aren't any, but um, in some cases there are. And let me see if this works. Are you now seeing my browser extension page? No. No? Okay. That didn't work. Oh, yes. No, um, here it is. Oh, yeah. he, he just had it. Oh. He just had it. He did? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there it is. There it is. And what was it? I came here for a reason. Oh yeah, images. Um, oh yeah, we don't have images here. Oh, Let me show you. Well, a second. What do the what do the scissors mean? The scissors are a way to pick up um, pick up text that you want to use in other places. So this will copy just the ID. This will copy a full link, and I'll sh show you what that means in a second. This will copy the URL. So if you're sending somebody a message and, and say, hey, look at this, right? If they're not a Wikitree user, you probably want to send them the URL. If they're a Wikitree user, you can just send them the ID, okay. right? Because we all we all understand how to use an ID if we're Wikitree users, right? Okay, but if you're so not a Wikitree user, you, you probably don't. If you want to copy and paste, you know, the name and and the ID, so it's a link in your page, then you grab this, copy Wikitree link. And if you just want to grab the title, you grab that. Okay. 
So yeah, okay, she so said it's, it's a, a cut and paste. That that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, once you once you click on this, it's in your buffer. So now you can go to wherever you want to be and go and can control V and bang, it's there. Oh, and if you like yeah. that idea, if you like that idea, then you probably like this idea, which is a clipboard and notes. And the difference yes. between the two is that notes are for keeping some information, not that you're going to be pasting in places, just information that you need to refer to now and then. Okay, so for example, these are the, the these are the key combos that you can use to get things done on 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 here. With the clipboard, you can have tabs tab group selection of um, stuff that you're going to be copying and pasting into places. Okay, and then you just go to the thing, and and uh, click on it. And it'll, oh, so that's and a place to keep in. your references, right? Your yeah, yep. I mean, if, yep. if, if you find if you find that you're using a, a bunch of common references over a family or over a, you know a, a, a geography, a particular town or whatever, and you're always using these references, yeah, then you collect them into your into your into your clipboard, and you can use them whenever you need them. And we were saying, right. right? Or or if so there are the, particular stickers that you use and you don't want to keep looking yep. up the code <laughs> where I would keep right. so true so true uh, oh these, I'm sorry these go, are go from go the WikiTree tree browser extension so you need to add the WikiTree browser extension if you want to use those capabilities uh, okay I've downloaded it but you say add it I don't know what to do with it now it's downloaded well, somewhere, but okay once once you download uh, sorry you 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 uh, what kind of computer are you on uh, this one is just an iPad, but I have it also on my Mac Gear Pro laptop. Okay. All right. So, so what, once it's there and installed and, and you've got, uh, got it running, then you want to go to your settings. And so that's this button up here and it takes a moment for it to load up, but once it does, it'll give you all of your, um, all your control settings. I um Murray, are you on a Mac or are you on a PC? I'm on a Mac. Oh, okay. I was gonna say your um your interface looks a little different from mine. I'm on a Mac as well, and I'm used to seeing oh. my browser icons over more to the right. But yeah. And you can and you can change that. Aha. And so the customization this is taking some time. So so we'll just yeah. do this. Um oh. customize the toolbar. You can change it, huh? Oh, I love it. So you, you, you can move, you can put them over there or over there. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. So I just go to the settings and say download or, or add to WikiTree or whatever, huh? Well, do, do you have this thing up here in your, in your what, which browser are you using? Chrome or Safari? Some, sometimes one, sometimes the other. Good. Well, okay, so if, if, you're, if you're on Safari, then, then you should have this button somewhere. And you just click on it and, and and set all your settings. And one of the settings is going to be the uh, just let me get there. This is this is the help, uh, by the way. Um, and so I think it's a global feature, right? Yeah, clipboard and notes. I never remember all that. So clipboard and notes is in the is in the global section. So very close to the top of the settings. And you just go to this thing and, and make sure it's turned on. And then from then on, you should have these things um, either at the top of your, your profile, if you're, um, if you're viewing the profile, um, right there. And if you're editing, you go to the edit tab. And there we go. When you come down here, oh. okay, kids, right, they're supposed to be right here, and you just have them available, and that's usually what what happens. But today, not. So, huh. I, I oh, there they are. There they are. They're at the top. So the benefit of it is. Well, I mean, I can go in, go into my clipboard, and I can go in, go into my notes and use them. 
Okay, so those were with uh, extension. Okay, right, right. I mean, when yeah. you are in in your very early wiki tree days, um, maybe you just want to keep things totally simple. Um, yeah. But once you have a degree of comfort, then the browser extension it it is so flexible and powerful. It okay. just allows you to customize, um, as you can see with what Murray has done, customize how you look at profiles, you know, and and placement of things on the screen, and um, yeah. So, um, but definitely, I I don't know if I would advise it if you're you know in your first month of wiki treeing. Well, I, wa I watched the video on the browser extension. Yeah. I don't know okay. if it's more than one, but <clears throat> he said if you do a JEDCOM and you're going to import, um, you're going to import files, um, that it's better to have the extension functioning because it, it imports it better. Um, yeah. And so that's why I tried to get the extension, but I couldn't figure it out. Is that is that accurate? And, what you said. Yeah. Well, well, it is said, true that. Oh, go ahead, Murray. No, no, please, Betsy. Oh yeah, what I was going to say is that um, with the, with the WikiTree browser extension, you're going to get something called um, the uh, AGC automatic JEDCOM cleanup, so that when you are um, looking at a profile that's been a part of an import and you go into edit mode, you'll see a little button that is, uh, it says AGC in bright colored letters. And you press on that and it will clean up the profile because okay. um, you get a lot of ex extraneous, uh, frankly, you, unnecessary junk that comes along with a JEDCOM import. So, right. yeah. We, 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 generally, we generally discourage the use of JEDCOM. We understand that sometimes that's all you've got but if if you're only using jedcom as a transport of some you know from somewhere else there may be a better way to get your information to come across mm -hmm. so if, if, if it's sit, if it's sitting in ancestry and you're writing it out as a jedcom to bring it back in that that's the wrong way to do it we've got other tools like like sorcerer all right Yay! so sorcerer <laughs> yeah. i was just going to say it depends on the size of your tree um I I had a relatively small tree and I did try a JEDCOM. It I had difficulty with it. And um I, I was told that it was because I had a lot of media attached to my to my ancestry tree. And so I just used it as an opportunity to to uh, review all my research. And so I brought things over manually. And as Murray said, I mean, Sorcerer um is an amazing tool and uh it allows you to, you know. To bring things over, you know, it's not as bad as it sounds. You know, my tree was very, very large, but I connected within four or five generations. I started connecting and merging. So mm -hmm. even though it was big, I did it manually, and it was not bad because uh, you yeah. find your merges real quick that way. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. How do you, how do you get to Sorcerer, and how do you learn about Sorcerer? Um, let me put that help page up there, and. So you just yeah. get, to get to get help. How do you get to help? Get get help on Sorcerer. Yeah, like you know how you just put that other help pages. Is there yeah. a help I'm, button? I'm going to put that up there. Yeah. Okay. And um, maybe sure. well, um, I don't want to forget um Paul's question about connection. Um, how did was it Paul who asked about being connected to the big tree? as well as Celeste, how to know if you're connected. How to know if you're connected. Okay, yeah. let's, let's, yeah. let's examine that. Okay. So, so down here at the bottom of every profile, it doesn't always oh. look exactly like this, but down at the bottom, there'll be a section that talks about um, the, the, uh, the theme of the week. And this week it's Quincy Jones and Company. And so if you're connected to the big tree, you'll be connected like that. Okay, you'll you'll see this list, and 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 uh, I can change the way that, that list looks. Uh, where do we, where do we keep that? Um, uh, no, you know what? I'm, forget that because I can't remember where we, where we keep it. But anyway, so that's one way. Another way is that if 
you're not connected, there will be a symbol right here. And I don't, uh, where can I find one? Um, hmm. I can't think of one well, off the top of my head right now. What are you looking for the, to see about connection to the big tree? Yeah. Yeah, if you're disconnected, there's a symbol that will show up if you're disconnected. Oh, yes. And it's actually, it's a little orange. It reminds me of a paper doll, cut out paper doll. Um, <sighs> let's see. I could give you a profile to there, go There to. it is. The unconnected branch table. And adds a button to unconnected profile. So, yeah, it's hard to find them. Um, um, oh, here we I go. Can... So, there's Mary Bennett Lever Dawson Rep. Okay, so let's go to her. One of the benefits of writing the documentation is you get to leave links to examples. Oh, there's a little man. I love that little man. <laughs> okay, see that little orange guy? <laughs> yeah, so so Mary is not connected to the big tree. Now that's because I've got the browser wiki tree browser extension. So um um <laughs> other what other clues are there? <laughs> see the browser extension all also does this. It puts this uh, unconnected branch tab over here. That should be over there, but but this thing's in the way. And... Right, Stephen, gingerbread man. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect but, time for Christmas. But yeah. um, you only have that, you only see that if you have the browser extension. Um, and so yeah. if you don't have the browser extension, then just look for connections to the weekly theme and if you see them, you're connected. If you don't, you're not. Um, Denise. Yeah, it, it looks like a gingerbread man, but it's actually a puzzle piece. Ah, yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh cute. Thank you, Denise. <laughs> it's a lost puzzle piece because she's not part of the big puzzle, right? <laughs> Right. Yeah. That, that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> that's the missing piece to the puzzle. Oh. So um I've been wandering around here showing off different aspects of you know working on WikiTree. And and now I'm lost in the brambles. I don't know where to go next. So I'm gonna turn it back to <laughs> well, Betsy. Let's, uh sure. Let's um Paul, did we answer your question about connection? Uh yes, you you sort of did, and uh, I'm gonna have to play around. I don't have the browser station, of course, loaded. Uh, right. And I'm not sure if I'm going to for some time because I'm so new at this. Uh, yeah. So I, I I played around with the CC2 and CC7, that little extra yeah. wiki app, and right. nothing has come up beyond what I put in. So I'm assuming yeah. I'm not connected in any way, shape or form. Right. So, would would it be all right if Murray pulled up your page to look at? Yeah, pull up pull up mine. Uh, it's yep. under Cripwell Ten. So this what Murray's doing right now is a way to go directly to any profile where you have the profile ID. I don't know if you can see it or not because I'm still alive. <laughs> um, right. It depends on your um level of privacy that you. That's said. probably okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, what you so can see. you Maybe. are okay. Yeah. I'm not connected. Okay. So you have 32 connections. So it's like a little, a little floating branch of 32 people. Yes. Is what's going on? Yeah. And those are all people I've been adding. Now, where did that Paul P come from? So say it again. You said that Paul P. Cripwell? That's not it correct. Seems... Oh, the... well, I can't. Are, I can't edit it. Are your parents? Are your parents' names correct? Uh, yes, my parents' names are correct, oh. but mine is supposed to be put in as Jeremy, first name Paul Cripwell. Well, there. That's what it says See? there. So okay. where did the P yeah. come from? But I don't it, know, but you can change you that must, easily. You must have enough. typed it in. Uh, 
look look under um look under changes. Maybe someone changed it. They can't. Well, I can't. It, it's it's his private profile. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. Wow. Huh. So you, you you must have put that in the in the uh, in the name fields. Yeah. So that's that's. I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna go check that. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. So so typically, if I wanted to get connected to the tree, I I go and look in your ancestor list, and I see that um. It goes yeah. back further on your father's side than it does on your mother's side. So okay, that's, so where, that's, I'm, that's where I'm working at the moment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's what, examine that. What is that little thing that you're just going to click? That little spidery green I, thing? Yeah, that was to say, I want. Let me do that. Let me show you. So yeah, that little, beside anybody's right. name. So when I'm looking at this part of the tree. Yeah, yeah. What does if that I mean? click here, that's going to give me that's going to take the same view of the tree and move it along to him. It's going to make James Cripwell the center person. Got it, got it, got it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And then this one is for descendants of, of James Cripwell. So you want a descendant list. Oh, okay. Okay. You you're familiar with the descendant list? That's what you get when oh if he doesn't have any, any descendants. Sorry. Um well James uh, has uh, descendants. We have to have well, one. Not, 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 it, it's not you don't have um you don't have two generations of descendants, so there's no descendants button. If I went to a different um well, when I go to so a different the, uh, one, let's see. Those all link back to me, so. Yeah. Well, oh, so if, if I went to uh, Frank instead, for example, you scroll down here, you see there's a Descendants button here. So if I click on the Descendants button, I get a list. Not a, it's not a long list in this case, but in, in, yeah. you know, if you if you go back enough generations, that's quite a long list, and it's collapsible. I was oh, sorry in in the browser extension it is anyway. Anyway, so here's here's your tree, and you're going back to Cripwell and Nottingham, uh, and Sawbridge and Nottingham, and so let's let's see if we can get you connected to some other Cripwells. So. No, I don't want to do that. I want to go to Richard Gripwell. And I know you're going not going to get connected to other Gripwells because there aren't any. Sure. Well, they're they're actually connected. You have to go back four generations from Richard to find the connections to all the other Gripwells of the tree that I put in. It's just the way our our, our family history worked. Have you used WikiCrease Sourcer for your? No, I have not. Oh, I have not. you need that to, to look in your English um, records. It's, it's fantastic. I love doing England records. You know, well, I've, I've they've been through Ancestry and find my past and everything else, so I don't know how much more I'm going to find in Sourcer. But see, right there, it goes all the way to all the different. Oh, I love Sourcer. So what what I what I just did was I asked. Um, I asked Sourcer to, uh, to to put together a query mm -hmm. to see if there are any sources available for for Richard. Mm -hmm. Now, you've already got a lot of information in here. Yeah, that one's being populated from my uh, ancestry tree, which is on fi uh, um, Family Tree Maker. And Sourcer did. Okay. That came through on the GEDCOM file when I when I okay. um, connected it or matched it. There he is. I didn't so... type any of that in. <laughs> Norman Francis Singlehurst. How did you how did you go straight to Ancestry? Do you have the sorcerer? Well, no, I I, so I, I I'll show you I'll show you again. Baker. Yep. I'm going to show you again. Okay. So I'm going to click here. Yeah. This is the this is the sourcer application. Oh, okay. okay. So, so I need said search. Oh, search ancestry. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Search ancestry or search family it. search. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Got it. So, so it it built it then built the the query. 
with as much information as possible to find the right one. I now, see. was is the if I got the right one? Richard was married to Francis Singlehurst. Um, I can't remember where you are. Yes, yes, because he married twice. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we know that's the right guy. So now we're going to see how many family trees have we got for this guy. Okay, okay. there's 35 so trees. That, so that first one is mine. Okay. And, and you've the got the second one is mine. Okay. The cripple on my family tree is mine. <laughs> And you've got 25 records. 25 and records? Well, yep. It says you've got, Sources. you've got 25 records. Oh, yeah, 25 records. Yes, okay. yes, that's quite possible. He's very well being very well researched. Let's, let's see what you got. So you, you do have names of parents. Oh, yes. I just haven't put them into the wiki tree yet. Okay. And so I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go right to your right to his dad. Another Richard. Okay, let's How see what you got on I him. Know that one? Oh look at that. You got a lot of information here. Now oh. I oh, bet yeah. you I bet yeah. you you think it would take a long time to copy this information into WikiTree. <laughs> well I saw I saw it's all in WikiTree, but I did the Jedcom match. All the information from my family tree maker software, all the sources and everything came through into WikiTree. Yeah. There is an easier way. And what is that? Tell us. Now, now you see how Don't see how it, it, it did it though? It, it, uh, it, it's kind of hard to read these sources, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. So now I want to, so I, I want to watch I want you to watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to add his father, okay? Okay. Is that all right? Yep. All right. So I'm going to go here to Sorcerer. And I'm going to tell it to save person data. Okay. So what it's doing now is it it's, it's getting the, the person's name, birth and death date and, and places. And it's going through all the sources and collecting information about from each of those sources. And we're just gonna let it let it run. It'll take a moment. So person data has been saved to local storage. So now I'm gonna go back to the boy and I'm gonna say, okay, I wanna add his father. How are you, where are you doing that? You I just, just press edit. Oh, so you now I gotta go it. here to add father. Okay. If if if, okay. If, I, if I were Paul, there would be a, there would have been a button for me to click on there, but but I'm not Paul, so I I didn't get that. Add father. So I okay, see my... on my unless you have the extension, you don't have sorcerer, correct? There are two no, separate. No, there's, there's two separate things. Yeah. So I'm on my wiki tree site and there's no sorcerer button. Yeah, you're you need to be looking for the one <laughs> square brackets. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing yeah. like that. Okay, we'll come back. We'll come back to that, Karen. Okay. Okay. Right now, oh, just follow geez. along. Okay. <laughs> Magic. So now Okay, so now I've I've clicked on the, the sorcerer button up in the up in the bar again. And I come down here and it says set fields from person data for Richard Quipwell for these dates, saved one minute ago. So it's reminding us what we've got in the cache, when we saved it, because it, it, you could have done this in a half an hour ago, right? So now I click it. It filled in his name. <laughs> filled dates no and locations. No, no, it gets way better. I know. Okay, and, and it did the basic stuff. But now, but now let me show you. So every one of those sources, it wrote, it wrote a narrative. In line, in line citation. And it, wrote, and it wrote a citation. 
<laughs> and it recognized you can, go, you can go in and change it but it's a, it's a really nice starting point yeah that's that's what they said in the video that's the way to do it mm -hmm. the the question here is you used ancestry you searched basically searched ancestry for all those richard cripple records how do you know you got the right ones came right off your page okay so these came off my page mm -hmm. oh okay yeah okay yeah. i thought they came yeah. off the ancestry search okay yeah. well no, if they... and we, remember what we did was we asked ancestry to tell us about the the the, the earliest person in your tree it showed us uh, it took us to a page and then and then we found your tree right yeah. Then we went to that person's father, and you oh, had already gathered sources yeah. on your tree. You had already gathered the sources, so the program sourcer said, "Okay, all the sources are here. I'm going to grab all the information from them, okay, and I'm going to write and I'm going to write uh, some narrative, so you can understand what's happened here. So, for example, here it found different sources for." Um, Richard Tripwell's the the son's birth. Yes, the so normally, normally records, yeah, yep. Yeah. So normally it would it would uh, con concatenate that, but see, there's several of them. So so you would you will need to go through this and edit this into a cohesive script. Now, uh, one of the suggestions that was made at the last one that we did, like this, was that. That I should put all of this until you've got it sorted out. So I'll put that in research notes. Okay, so anyway, so all the sources are in here. I'm just gonna go through and we're gonna get to the end. And it added a link to your tree. Okay. Okay. So now it says, um, now. This this is something that came from the browser extension, so ignore it. So and then it plugged in this adding, uh, add using external data for Richard Cripwell from Ancestry. And so we'll continue. Now it's going to look through and it's going to say, okay, well I I don't have I don't have one of these anywhere in the database. I don't have a guy with this name and these dates, so there's no matches. So okay, we'll accept that. Okay, so it added. I should have told you to start a timer. Um. Anyway, so now five minutes. There's his profile. Now, okay. how long would it have taken taken you to copy all that over? Oh God, no! I wouldn't even think of it. <laughs> okay. Now, now check this out. Right. It's a source. It explains okay. where it came from. It gives you a link back to it, and it gives you the detail of what it's telling you. Can this can this be used to add sources to um, somebody that we've already put in? The yeah, program we've yeah. already created. Yes. Yeah. So let me show you. Awesome. So I'm going to come back to I'm going to come back to Richard here. Yeah. And let's and actually let's go to. Oh, I was just going to say, I do want to make sure that we uh, for, save some time for um, Michelle, um, who we didn't get to. I want to make sure that we answer some of his questions, too. Okay. I'm going to go to one source here. Just to show you how it works. So we're going to go to the view record. And so now for a just one record from Ancestry, a single record that I want to copy as opposed to grabbing the whole list, right? So I just come back again to this button and I come down here and do I want a source citation or do I want a narrative with citation? Or do I want an, just an inline citation without any narrative? Okay, I can pick and choose which, which, which one I want. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a narrative with citation. It's gonna save that to the clipboard and now before I paste it, and I just want to sort of remember, remind myself, edit citation. So this is going to show me exactly what it just copied. So this is what it saved into the clipboard, and I can look at that and say, oh, yeah, okay, that's, 
that's more or less what I want. Yeah, that's fine. And now I can proceed. Or, you know, I can just trust that it did the right thing, or I can come in here and edit it because maybe I'm going to be pasting this into several different um, profiles, right? So it's, it's, a, it's a really fabulous tool and it, it, he improves it every week. He just adds more and more capabilities to it. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, for me, it's, it's, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like when you're, you're a teenager and you got a bike and you're finally allowed to, you know, take your bike and go somewhere. Like, you don't, you're not restricted to the, you know, three blocks and, you know, and, and then your bike changes your whole world. You can go places, you can do things and it, it just makes life simpler. That's what the sorcerer does. Just makes life simpler. Like why spend all that time editing citations when you could be. <laughs> okay. So. Right. Betsy, you, okay. you wanted to address one more thing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you for that, Murray. That's, that's right. I learned a few tricks too. I mean, that's <laughs> the thing about these, the bra these extensions is, well, they are being um, constantly tweaked and improved and, and expanded. Um, so there's always some some new little bell or whistle, and then um, you know, um, just uh, have you, have you I'm guys, old, which is which is fun. Um, have, you, have you found it's easier to add the extension with Chrome or with Safari? Does it matter? I've only used it with Chrome. I don't know about Safari. Um, I guess I have used it on Safari on my iPad. Okay, so and it was fine. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so it turns out we have um, over a thousand anyway. I can't remember exactly what the number was, but uh, we have lots of people who use um, the web WikiTree browser extension on their iPhones. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. <laughs> I remember that. Wow. <laughs> awesome. yeah. And yeah. apparently we have one person who, who uses it on one of those um, Apple headsets. <gasps> Vision Pro. Really? Wow. wow. Yes. Anyway, so Betsy, back yes. to you. Um, so, um, Michelle, you, you said, I, I just wanted to make sure you, you said you had some basic questions. Did those happen to get answered as we were talking through things? Or if not, um, how can how can we help? Uh, well, you uh, this was a little bit too <laughs> advanced. I needed something even more basic than that. So the, the lesson I took out of this is do my research first on the web okay. and for those very basic uh, questions, then um, <coughs> come, like this was very interesting. I did learn stuff. Yeah. It was just a little bit too out of my uh, that that's what I was concerned about. Um, yeah. May may we look at your profile? Would that be okay? You could. Yes. Uh, uh, what what is your profile number? You could tell us or put it in the chat. Uh, uh, your ID. Yeah, I'm try. Uh, if you give me one moment. Of course. We're so if you are on your profile page, you'll see a menu up at the top right, and and one of the headings will be your profile ID. See there, it says my wiki tree, and then it would be yours. Oh, it is, uh, oh, maybe I could put in the chat or can I, I'm being uh, singled out. <laughs> that's that's okay, did. we've all been okay. there and we're patient. Yeah, well, we're waiting for him to find his ID. Uh, yes. Stephen asked a question. Isn't there a fee for adding it to the iPhone? No. Ah. No? Oh, oh. Okay. Is there? I... I think there's a fee. There's a small fee to add it to something that is an Apple product. If oh, I right, 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 right. Okay. It was very nominal, but it was because, because of costs... Um, that um, Rob incurred for because of Apple's policies. I take a oh there. okay. Uh, the, do you see it, Murray? The Quattro knows Michelle. Uh, R H E A U L T. 
Thank you, Stephen. Is Cal, uh, Cal Numero? Uh, 220. Oh. Huh? Yep. That's, yeah, that's correct. 220? Yes. Yep. And maybe when you bring up his thing, you can show us where that little um, sorcerer is on a non. There we go. So I guess I haven't put much on myself, but uh, I've only been on this for a couple of days and I was able to uh, connect some of the branches to the the larger population. So if you go on my- yeah, you have 400, you have 420 connections. Yeah, yeah. that's it. So on for my- your, for your, On your father's side. Yeah, on my father's side, on my so uh, with my father, with yeah. my grandfather, mm -hmm. and I was able to add more details. And so I believe, um, Michelle, you are wondering um, about making changes to yes. profile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and so I I don't know that there's one answer that applies to all situations. If it's something. Um, very, very cut and dry, and you have a you have a source to back it up. I think you used the example of uh, a date that had been marked as approximate, That's but correct. you had a, you had a source that gave the exact date. Then I, I, if the profile is open, I see no issue with with um, adding the source mm -hmm. and um, and then making the date exact instead of approximate. That's fine. Um, so I don't have to advise the uh, the profile manager that I'm doing this. I just go ahead and yeah. I mean, I think it's it's a, a if it's very clear like that, uh, you don't have to. I mm -hmm. usually do. Um, maybe uh, just a quick private message or um, and usually, I mean, there people are excited to have new information um, and and it might link you with a potential collaborator on future you know future profiles that you might share in common or put a profile put a comment on the profile um, you know dear dear so and so uh, you you'll see I, I i had this source for the baptism and and i added it and it gives the date um, we we like to you know to collaborate as a community that way. Also, they say that we French Canadian are very lucky because <laughs> our churches kept records of <laughs> yes. every transaction in someone's life. So I do have copy uh, from the church books mm -hmm. of the uh, birth, marriage and death of uh, most of my ancestors. So I'm wondering if I can do a, a, a snip or a picture of that page and include that in the profile of the person. Did, did you take the pictures? Yes. Okay, so let, 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 me, let, me, let me try and explain a few things. It, it, some of it may sound difficult, but you have, you have to use some judgment. Um, if, you've take, if, if it's your media, if you took the picture, and the thing itself doesn't have a copyright. So for example, if you, if you, if you took a picture of a poster of Taylor Swift, mm -hmm. you own the copyright to that picture, but the poster, somebody else owns that copyright. So for you to put up, to put up your picture of her poster, that's not, that's not good, right? That's, that's uh, you're breaching copyright. But if you took a picture of a of a church register, well, the ch the church doesn't copyright the register, and so it, if you use your picture, that's fine. If you find a picture on Ancestry, you shouldn't copy that, right? You don't want to copy that onto WikiTree. Okay. Now, having said all that, let me let me further add. You may have uh, a picture from the register. I, I have pictures from Register 2 from um, Saint Michel de, de Per Se, and but I don't use them. Instead, I refer to um, uh, electronic addresses where I'm going to find them. So you're familiar with PRDH, yes? Yes. Yes. So it, it, as much as possible, you want to use the the, um, the 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 references that we can point and click at. Okay, mm. but. Uh, that as I said, if you took a picture 
then it's not it's not unreasonable for you to copy that onto Wikitree and to have uh, have that included in the profile or at least a link to it so that people can see it. That's what I've done in many cases. I've I was able to find them in Family Search, so I've included a link that brings you to that page. Now it's Perfect. up to you to uh, find it in the page and be able to read it, but uh, that's how I did sure. it. Yeah, I mean, Family Search when you when you can link to Family Search, that's uh, preferred because it's free. And any, anyone can go. Exactly. It. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, you've answered my questions. Okay, good, good. good. Uh, are there, now we, we're, we're um, a little past the hour, but I want to make sure that um, everybody, uh, I don't want to send anyone away with burning questions. Is, is there anyone who uh, didn't get their question, their burning question answered? Yep. All right, we're going to sign off. All right. Yes, we're going to sign yeah. off. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Thank you. very much. Have a great Thank weekend. You guys. Yeah.